Coming up on Makosi Today. I do not think that is too big. As far as you know that you're able to do that stuff, that's, that's, that's where your talent is. It could be being a doctor, lawyer, being an entertainer, atomist, whatever it is. Just focus, pray first. Make sure you have that talent, then pray again, and pray again, and pray again, and then go for it. Do not give up. Do not accept no. I do not accept no, I don't. You say no, I'll... Mother, daughter, friend, and a wife to one of Africa's best-selling artists, Two-Face Edibia. Eni Makali is an actress and producer, known from her movie White Chapel, which was released in 2011. She has an art for juggling family, work, and media. Today, she schools me on how to keep her head above the water. Now, I was raised by a single mother, and I know how difficult it can be to balance between work and family. More and more African women are having both family and career. When we came to Nigeria, after shooting the first season in Harare, the second season in Johannesburg, we thought, a working mother who is making it, who can it be? But the one and only, the original African queen, Eni Macaulay Edivia. I am so <laughs> flattered to have you here. Thank you. You know when I called your manager to have you here, I was like, she's going to be really busy. It's award season. She's True. an actress. She's a mother. She's a producer. When she said to me, we can come in and do this because of what it represents, we were so, so honored to have you. <laughs> Thank you. So before we start, <coughs> do you eat pounded yam and afang, is it? Yes, afang. How did you know that? I know afang. you're from Akwaibom. Yes, I'm from Akwaibom. So do you eat afang? Yes. Afang. And where does it go? Uh, <clears throat> here. You are a mother of two. <laughs> That's right. Mother. And you look absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. You do look good. Look at your hair. Oh my God. I, sh <laughs> I should not be starstruck. So we need to get into the interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are a working mother. True. And you have two beautiful babies. That's right. How do you do it? How do you balance motherhood and your career? <sighs> so hard. It's very hard. But then the truth is I love both so much, especially the first motherhood. You know, first I love being a mom. I enjoy being a mom. And then with my career, like, with my first child, it was easier. Yeah. And then having like a new baby, and then after the baby, five months later, I was already working. And I was still breastfeeding, yes, I was. So it was hard, but with the help of, I have a very good support system. My mom, I have, I have two good nannies, but then my mom is like my major, support system. She's been there all through from childbirth, from when I had my second baby till now. How long do you breastfeed for? I did exactly five months. Five months on each baby? The second baby. The first baby was seven months. Okay. And they stopped on their own actually. They both stopped on their own. Like right. my second baby, I tried to like, you know, get to the sixth or seven months. Okay. But at four months, the girl was already tired. She's like, I'm not having this anymore. I want the real food. <laughs> that's know? Olivia. Yeah, that's Olivia. Do you work out? I try. I've seen videos of you working yes, out. Yes, I try. Like the first, like early, the early stage after my baby, I did some workout. Then I got lazy and then we work. You know, I have to get up early, get my kids ready for school and then go to work. And then at night, I'm exhausted. I have to cook, you know, so. I just started getting like kind of lazy with working out, but I try to jog every night, like about 10 p.m. Like oh, wow. 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Do you I do, do the school run? Do you take Isabella to school? Sometimes, when I, I don't have to work early. I, okay. do, I try to pick her up. Do I you can. cook? 
I don't even have a cook. <laughs> I know you won't believe that. You don't I, have a cook? No, I don't have a cook. So your household eats the food that you cook? Exactly. Every it's single every day? Every single thing, every single day. Yes. Wowza! I know that's hard. That's the hardest part. I'm almost feeling like I'm work, like I'm a maid in the house right now. Right. <laughs> yeah, because I do the cooking, but I mean, I have help, like, you know, the cleaning and all that. If I clean, I'm dead by now, right? Right, of course. Exactly, so. I but do you have a nanny? Yes, I do. I do, do you trust her 100%? Because you know the Uganda mm -hmm. story about mm -hmm. nannies abusing children? That was scary, that was frightening. That was... Do you trust her? I do, but that's why I said, thank God for my mom. The truth is, I would never leave my kids alone, my nanny, for more than six, seven hours. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Okay. So if I have to travel to work, I make sure that my mom is Your mom is there. Yeah. And you always make sure you have to go back the same day because you're... I always try to back go back today. the same day like today. <laughs> right. Yes, like I'm, I always try to go back the same day. But if I'm filming, I have to be away for a while. So it's either my mom will come to my house or I'll send my kids to my mom. You're very and close to your children. I've seen pictures of you cuddling, yes. kissing. Yes. Where does that come from? Does that come from the relationship you had with your mother? Yes, I think so. With my mom, my mom was also a single mom. Oh wow! Yes, she raised all of us by herself. By herself. So I'm, um, uh, my mom. I'm really close to my mom. So even letting her go was hard. After the wow. wedding and trying to, you know, let her go, it was, it's still hard. But is she <laughs> one of those Chris Jenner type of mothers who's She's always cool. in your house? She is cool. She's my friend's bestie. That's how I like to say. All my friends are close to my mom, so you can imagine. Okay. So she's one of the girls. So you can talk about absolutely anything with her? Almost everything except from. <laughs> except yeah. from? You know, there's a, there's a girl, so a girl want to keep to herself, right? Which leads me to my next question. <laughs> yeah. The hardest question Isabella has ever asked you. <laughs> that girl. That girl, she asked me a little bit. Um... Oh, I don't know if I should be saying this on TV. You mm. can. <laughs> she she asked me that, Mom. Well, it was like two years ago. That was, I think just like on my, yeah. She's like, Mama. Um, Nina and Zion are my brothers. And Daddy is my daddy, and Daddy is the daddy. So how come hey. <laughs> how come you're not their mommy and Auntie Sumba is their mom? And I'm like, <clears throat> she asked me that question. She before. did. Yeah, she did. And how did you? And I'm like, you see how wheezy and that my brothers wheezy right. and sly. As you see how wheezy and sly are my brothers, and they protect me. That's why you have Nino and Zion, because I don't have like a boy. So that's why Nino and Zion are there. They're there oh. to protect you. They're your brothers. And you can, you know, I just tried to, you know, it was hard to tell her that, you know, yeah. she knows, but then she's like, why is it that way? Exactly. But then, I mean, she can't ask that question now. That's like two years yeah. ago. Now she's six, mm -hmm. she was four then. Mm -hmm. So she didn't really get it. And she's close to her brothers. So uh, why do they have to go? You know, why do they come and go? And they don't stay with us. Mm -hmm. Yes, that kind of thing. That's hard. But your response was so wise. Where do you draw your wisdom from? <laughs> I think God's direction, my mom, I think the way I was brought up, and then, and the truth is, I was an only girl. Okay. Uh, a girl with boys. So I know how protective, and I'm the youngest in my family, and I know how protective my brothers are till now. Right. So I really want that for my girls. Okay. And it's only their brothers that can do that for them. At the end of the day, it's just good to be them. We're not going to be in the picture. So I really and truly want that for her, you know? I can't believe how wise you are. You know when you go on social media, I've gone through it. People say what they want to say, but when That's you walked nice. in, actually, let me say, mm -hmm. when you walked in quietly, you know, because in my head I was thinking, Two Faces wife, absolutely famous. <laughs> when she walks in, I will know. And I kept saying to my boys, make sure you're playing her husband's music oh. so she feels <laughs> you know Stop. and your manager came to me and she said to me you are here i was like why don't you come in you're so down to earth what keeps you grounded 
uh, what gives me grounded? I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just like this. I don't know. I'm quite simple and than you would think. I'm, I think I'm. Just, and then my, you know, my background. That's what I'll say. Right. My background. I know, like you know, where I am today. It is God. It's part of my dream, you know. And honestly and truly, I did not think that I'll be this famous, like you say, famous. Wow. You know, but yes. I always yeah, we've knew come all, all the way from Zimbabwe. Thank you. And we found you. <laughs> so that's you. how famous you are. Thank you. And you're still like so humble and so cute it's, and so. It's the grace. It's it's God's grace, truly. It's, it's it's not me. It's God's grace. Like my kids, that's God's grace. You know, so <laughs> I can't believe she's here. I'm sure you guys can't believe she's here. Don't go away. After the break, we are going to be talking about her husband's music. <clears throat> and a lot of people fell in love playing African Queen. <laughs> so if you want to hear what we're going to be talking about, don't go away. Hello and welcome back to the second segment of Makosi Today with Annie Makali Idibia. Thank you for not going away. I'm like really excited. I wish I could keep her here all day, but she really has to rush back to her children. Yeah. So we were saying about the world mm -hmm. having fallen in love with your oh. husband's music. I remember I have a friend of mine who plays for Chelsea and mm -hmm. I was in his house and he was playing African Queen. So when I heard that you were coming on, <laughs> I, don't know how to, I don't know how to frame this question, but I know Oprah has mm -hmm. asked Asha if yeah. he makes love to his, mu to his wife with his music. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to ask this question. <laughs> Why are you asking my question? Um, you and your husband, do you ever um, make love to his music? You're crazy. <laughs> oh my God, you're blushing. I've, Don't mind her. You know what? I've heard, I've heard a, that you blush a lot, and I've just seen you blushing. You know, I'm really dark, so you, I'm not blushing. Okay. So. Do you? I, I'm not simple. I don't, don't, do I don't, remember. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Mm. If you don't answer that, mm -hmm. I am going to assume you do. <clears throat> oh God, this is so. Uh, I don't. I don't so know. between <laughs> you and I, between us, minus and the hundred and twenty million <laughs> viewers, <laughs> minus them, minus <laughs> them, you, you. I should think so. <laughs> you should think so. Oh, um, <laughs> and both of you are really famous. Do you compare notes when you get home? Like, do you compare notes about how one is doing and how the other? No, at all. He's he's um, he's like you know. Um, no, we don't. We just try to support each other. That's the truth. Right. You know the best way we can 
kind of try to support each other. But when you say he's, um, there's there's a couple of shows, right? <laughs> you know, I'm inspired by my husband too. You know, he inspires me too. And to we're inspired be... by you. <laughs> so he inspires one girl, and we are in <laughs> millions of us are inspired by you. Okay, before we move on, this is not about your husband, okay. so we're not going to dwell on it. Thank but you. before we move Thank on, you. but before we move on, there is a before we move there on. There is one question. Okay, just <laughs> one question. Okay, African cream. Yeah, just like the sun lights up the world, you light up my life. He says you light up his life. Did he write that song about you? Mm, that song was really for you and I. Uh, and, and then female you're watching too us right now. modest because no, you but I'm serious but you were in the picture then I was in the video yes this is like 200 years ago okay almost 200 years ago exactly <laughs> so but it was for all African queens out there yes strong black African girl woman you know not just me it's like you are an African queen you're beautiful you work hard you know you're doing this. That's I, an love you. I love you. I love you. Can you stay with us? <laughs> Please stay with us. So there you go. You heard it. African Queen was not just written for her. Okay. It was written for all of us, including me. Yes, and your mom. And my mom. mom and my grandma. Exactly. Hi, grandma. I hope you're watching. <laughs> my grandma is 95. Nice. You should play African Queen for her. And she is my greatest supporter. So now we've done. we're done with your yes. husband that's an african queen no 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 no. before we go on there's another before tell me two she things said one no no two two okay. just one more <laughs> this is the final one okay tell me two things you know about two-faced that the world doesn't know <laughs> yummy <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Well, I don't want to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing. Just one, one. thing. <clears throat> He's a very good cook. And he cooks. He cooks? Mm. <laughs> oh, that, I'm sure the world didn't know that. Uh, I don't know if they know he can cook, but he can cook. Two-Face Idibia cooks. What does he cook? Food. <laughs> like... Rice. <laughs> so do you do duties like you cook, he cooks? Yeah. We, do. we don't have a cook. You're so you're so easy to talk to and you're so graceful to talk to. Thank you. I promise that that was the last question. Yes, about thank you. And I really appreciate that. You Moving said that on. <laughs> I've watched a couple of movies mm -hmm. of you. And um, I just want to know, we're going into the work bit now. Okay. I just want to know. Are you still shooting movies even after your children, or you're now into production? I'm still, I'm still shooting for people. I'm still shooting movies. I, I did my um, after my baby. I think when she was six months, I was on my next set. Yeah, that was the first job I did. Oh, did you take her to work when you went to work? Once, Just but once. not like the whole day. Like okay. you know, because I was breastfeeding, and you know. But yes, I'm still doing movies. I want to do more production, like producing. Wow. Yes, even if it's just two, two a year, one a year, that's fine. But I just want to be able to, you know, do To that. produce something. Yes. And then just do more good movies. So I'm very careful, you know, about the script. About style. getting into it. Yes. Okay, so five years from now, where do you see Nollywood? Nollywood, wow. We're going places. We're going. I'm telling you. We are, because right now, so many people, like even private investors, are now investing in Hollywood. You know, amazing. Yes, and then they're now doing better movies right now. Mm -hmm. You know, like I saw a movie that is in Hollywood, and I was in shock. You, you know, there's so many good Hollywood movies now. So if they can do that now in five years, they should be able to do more than that. And you know, I just hope that even the government right. would actually see that Hollywood is actually giving. Nigeria like a good image outside there. You know Huge. how people think about Nigeria? Yes. So at least we're helping to put Nigeria in a very good image out there. I was going to say so, that. Yeah, we are. So they should, they, the government should, whatever is coming in, you know, you guys, you need to bring in more to our table, you know? Mm -hmm. Nollywood, you know, they should invest more in Nollywood. Invest more. Yes. It's, because it's when you look at industry. it, when you look at it, Half a Yellow Sun, Half a yellow sun. and what's the other one, Selma, they are partly yeah. Nollywood because they Nigerian are, no, actors are in there. 
Yes, but we should be able to do our own thing. And half of your son is Nollywood, but then, you know what, the but. Yes. You know what I mean? I know the but, but yeah. But then Nollywood can actually do Nollywood, just Nigerian actors in that light. It, that kind of production, that kind of camera, that kind of crew, you understand what I mean? Okay. So I, the thing is, we're very good, but then we do not have like the right, the source, all the resources that right. we need. Okay. Because then if you have a good story and you have a good actor, if you put them in an ugly, in front of an ugly um, camera, it would look. And screen you know? controls, screen controls society. If you see what Lupita Nyong'o mm. did, with changing the face of beauty in Hollywood, yes, you would think every government would like to put money into that. Exactly. You know, and you were saying she's from Kenya, yes, and everybody and now, wants to know. Exactly, everybody wants to know what's going on in Kenya right now. You know, and then she she is gonna give Kenya like a very good image to right. be like, oh, that guy's from Kenya. Well, that's where Lupita. You know what I mean? So, and then that's what Nollywood. That's what we're trying to. I mean, we don't. I don't have to star in a Hollywood movie to. So, to make that impression exactly, exactly. We yes can do it here in Hollywood. and we have you as a producer now Amen. so I'm looking forward to watching the stuff that you produce exactly that's why I say the resources the, you know if they can actually invest in these things there are people who know how to do these things and we can do it the right way right and then the world will be able to accept it and not just Look at, oh, was that a Nollywood movie? <laughs> nah. Yet another no, Nollywood movie. No drama looking. No, but I've spent you know. some time with you and I know what you can produce. What inspires yeah. you? The drive to always want to be better at everything that I do. and Believing that the best is yet to yes, come. Yes, the best is yet. I just feel like there's so much. And I, oh, you know, so hungry for the lot. So I just want to, I just want to eat and be filled and get pregnant and then... Not pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> no pregnant. Oh, okay, we don't want to no go back to that. Um, but I do believe it because for someone to take their time to come out, to because we have Women's Week coming up in a couple of days, and sure. for someone to take their time to come out and speak to us about, you know, African queens, what inspires you, mm -hmm. and being a working mother, mm -hmm. you have the heart for it, and you I do. really, really look forward to seeing the stuff that Amen. you produce. Um, into camera two, could you inspire an African girl child on what life, the lessons life has taught you? I would say um, whatever your dreams are, I do not think that it's too big. As far as you know that you're able to do that stuff, that's, that's, that's where your talent is. It could be being a doctor, lawyer, being an entertainer, actor, music, whatever it is. Just focus. Pray first. Make sure you have that talent. Then pray again and pray again and pray again and then go for it. Do not give up. Do not accept no. I do not accept no. I don't. You say no, I'll come back. You say no, I go do my research and I'll come back. And you must say yes. So that's how it should be. Make sure you don't get discouraged by no's. That's what I think. You've got a very funky <laughs> sense of style. <laughs> Thank you. What do you I mean? would have I would have thought by now you would have a line of your own. Why don't we have a line? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. There's, there's a lot that I'm planning. There's a lot that I want to do. And, you know, now that I don't have to always, the babies are growing. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I have more time in my hands now. You know, so there's a lot I'm going to do by God's grace. You know, it is, it's always his grace. It's about so grace. It's about grace. So if it's his will, by his grace, you guys would all see everything, all the things that I have. Would you say you're life. a shy person? I'm not really shy. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. You know what I've enjoyed ever since you walked in? I've enjoyed making you blush. I'm not blushing. Like, I'm blushing. It excites <laughs> me when you blush. Okay, black people glow. So it excites me when you glow. I've really enjoyed you glowing. Thank now, you. Thank you. what we normally do mm -hmm. on the set of Makosi today, mm -hmm. we always give our guests something. Oh, for real? Oprah mm -hmm. gives cars. Annie, honey, don't get excited. Uh, well, you give cars soon, darling. Come amen, on. Amen, 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 amen. Get the cars. Amen. 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 <laughs> Oprah gives cars. And 
Helen gives holidays. Okay. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. That's what keeps me up. We give mugs. <laughs> nice. I would love you to have this mug. And I'll be sitting on a coaster today. Good. And I'd love to see you have coffee in it. I will. Will you take a look? I will take it, please. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. it. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> what makes Annie so alluring is she's beautiful inside out. And I think that's absolutely fabulous. Thank and I know there's so many, so many working mothers out there. You have your family, mm -hmm. you have your children. If this teaches you anything, is you can have it all. You can. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye-bye. <laughs>